Hello, welcome back. <laughs> My voice. Do a different vlog. <coughs> I'm sick, if you can't tell. I'm going to vlog over the next two days because Ben is getting his head tattooed and I thought that would be quite a fun, interesting thing to vlog. So I'm going to be vlogging that. But I also just wanted to say that I do have a vlog ready, kind of. But it was, it was filmed before Christmas and it's like us Christmas shopping and things like that. And it kind of just feels a bit irrelevant now. Like, I mean, it's nice, but it's not Christmas anymore. Do you know what I mean? So I think I'm just going to keep that one on record for us <laughs> and just do this as the next vlog, which you will now know because this is the one you're watching and there wasn't one before it. Wow. <sighs> I am currently on a week off, hence this, always happens, I always take a week off in January um, to kind of get over the Christmas manicness um, and I always get sick, normally it's like a proper like virusy thing, this time it's like a chest throat infection kind of thing, I have a horrible cough, I'm losing my voice, <laughs> really fun, <laughs> but yesterday Luna, I'm so red, um, Luna was at the vets for her spay and she had her microchip put in and we were told to put um to get like they do t-shirts basically um so we were told to put get her put in a t-shirt i've got such a like clumsy brain right now um we were told to get her put in one of the t-shirts it's like a full body suit and it's better than the collar like it's more comfortable for them blah blah, blah. it's slightly more money but i was like if she's going to be more comfortable i'd rather pay a little bit extra so we did that. We picked her up from the vets yesterday. <laughs> the vet said that she let her know that she was angry, um, but it was all vocal. Like she wasn't like vicious or anything. It was just warnings. Uh, but she's very vocal at home as well. Hello. Don't fall off there, please. Um, so that was funny. We were like, I'm really sorry. She is like, she is cuddly. She is loving. She does love us. Um, but when she's scared, she's super, super vocal. But anyway, yeah, the vet basically said that she's in a t-shirt, but the extra, extra small was too small, but the extra small is slightly too big, but they kept her in the extra small. And obviously we had no idea, so we were like, oh, okay, cool, fine. You know best, and we'll leave her in that. We got her home, and because she'd been so vocal at the vets, they'd actually only started to wake her up when we arrived to be able to get her back in her, like, travel bag and stuff so she was still super drowsy and she couldn't walk and this suit was huge um bless her oh my god it was like i like sobbed it was heartbreaking she was obviously really uncomfortable and in a lot of pain anyway and then her front arms kept falling out of the holes for that it was really tight around her neck so then that pulled down over her so she couldn't move her arms and then it was too long for her, so it came too far over her back. And there's a thing with cats where they don't like their backs being touched or like any weight on their back. So then she couldn't walk, so she kept falling over. So we had her like laying on a pillow for ages because we didn't know whether it was just because she was so drowsy. And um, we're like, maybe as she wakes up, it will get a bit better, blah, blah, blah. But it only got worse, and she was obviously getting more and more frustrated. And then we were getting really frustrated because we couldn't help her. And obviously, you can't sit and say to a cat, just move your leg a little bit and it'll all be fine. Um, so we were getting really frustrated. So at about 11, I had a little mental breakdown. I was just breaking my heart, like seeing her like that. And she kept looking at us with these really sad eyes. So Ben called the out of hours vets and at about 11 o'clock last night he went and got her a little cone so she now has a cone she is so much happier i'm going to show you her she's currently sat on the window so oh hold on i think she wants to get off do you want me to get you off baby yeah come here then I think she's still a little bit sore today, but Luna, Luna, show everyone your amazing cone. Yeah, are you happier in your little cone? Poor little angel, and she's still, I think, quite uncomfortable. She's just obviously been sleeping she has been eating so that's good and she's had some water now as well um so yeah but we are going away 
uh, we're away overnight tonight because of Ben's tattoo tomorrow. Um, so Ben's sister-in-law is coming over to look after her tonight. We were just going to leave her, but I think because she was so distressed last night, all we're going to do while we're away is just worry about her. <coughs> um, so Ellie's being so nice and is going to come and stay the night with her. She, like I said, she's probably going to be absolutely fine, but just to put our minds at, at rest and stuff, so... Thank you, Ellie, if you're watching this. Thank you so much for coming and looking after my little fur baby. Bless her. Um, and then she's back at the vets on Friday for her two-day up checkup, and then she'll be back there ten days later, and then we can take the cone off of her, and then she can finally go outside and have little mini adventures and bring us dead things, which she's desperate to do so i'm actually really excited i'm excited and i'm super nervous at the same time to like let her out i mean i'm like please come home okay <laughs> while we're chatting and in the house i thought i would show you that the sofa is finally gone i have my living room back i'm so excited <laughs> um it went yesterday thank god goodness because I was getting so annoyed with having it in here there was so much furniture in this tiny room and there was no room to do anything else but it also means that I can show you um what we got for Christmas from my dad because it's so cute wait let me turn it on so basically my dad got us um an Amazon voucher for Christmas and in the living room we have like a little fireplace area uh so we got a, a little electric log burner type thing from Amazon is so cute um, you can just have it on with the lights on like this or you there's like two levels of heat I think two or three levels of heat and my goodness it heats up the room so quickly our boiler broke on New Year's Day brilliant great start to the year and this had arrived like the day before New Year's Eve or the day before I can't remember I think the day before. Anyway, irrelevant. We had it. And thank goodness. Because <laughs> we were like, what are we going to do? Like, we've got no heating, nothing. But yeah, luckily we had that. And it, um, our house is pretty small, to be fair. But it heated it up so quickly that we didn't even really notice that we didn't have any heating. But the boiler was fixed the next day. So luckily, it was only like 24 hours that we were out. I found it quite funny because this time last year... Let's put you on there because my arm is... This time last year... Obviously, I was still living in London and our boiler broke in London in January last year. And I was like, this is it. Every single January, something's going to go wrong with my boiler and it's just going to get really annoying. But this year, it obviously was not as dramatic as last year. If you follow me on Instagram and you followed me last year, then you obviously know what happened. But it was uh, quite a traumatic two weeks, I think it was. We had no heating, no heating, no hot water. And then the gas, we had a gas leak, so then we had no oven, so we couldn't cook. And then all the electricity went one one night, so then we had no, we had no, like, electric heaters, because that's what the landlord had provided us with, was electric heaters. We had no electric heaters, we couldn't cook anything. Um, there was no lights, it was pitch black, it was freezing cold, we were starving. And this is when the snowstorm happened as well, and everyone was getting so excited about the snow, and there's us, like, being like, really? Are you kidding me? This just topping off the start of the year. Uh, but that's a fun story to tell. Um, I think the night the electricity went, we ended up just sitting in blankets in the living room drinking wine, because there was nothing else to do, really. <laughs> God, that was horrible. Um... So yeah, that's all that went through my head when we came home from Ben's brother and sister-in-law, Ellie, who was here, and we turned the heating on and didn't pay any attention. I was like, it's still really cold. And Ben was like, oh, I'll turn the heating on. I was like, it's hot. And I turned it on when we came in. Yeah, it wasn't working. But that problem I was solved, though. Don't need to worry about that anymore. I'm currently just waiting for Ben to get home. He's gone to get his head... Well, not his head cut. <laughs> that's wrong to have his hair cut and shaved so it's ready for tomorrow and then I've got to shave his head again tomorrow um, he's going to be putting on ooh, some numbing cream he's a tattoo artist but he uh, doesn't deal with tattoos very well if he does them himself 
And this is the first one I'm going to have seen him getting a tattoo as well. And he always says how much of a wimp he is. So I'm really excited to see that. It's going to be fun. <laughs> um, but I'm sure I will catch up with you in a bit. But yeah, hi. Happy New Year. I hope you had a good Christmas. And I hope 2020 is an amazing year for you and your loved ones. I will leave you alone in a minute, but I just thought I'd show you. This is the, like, t-shirt thing that they gave Luna. Um, it, like, does up here, and then her back legs come out here, and then her front legs are, like, obviously out here. It's like a dog suit, basically. I think these are more made for dogs, um, because there's the little slit there, and I'm assuming that's for, like, a lead. Um, but, yeah, her, like, bum ended about here, so it was all... She was slid all the way down, so this was really... T oh, my God, it was just horrible. Um, yeah, it was traumatic. I think I've got a picture up here, hang on. So we've been taking Polaroids. Let's see if it'll focus on it. Yeah, look. Luna being a drama queen slash Zebra. 7th of the 1st, 2020. Bless her heart. But um, yeah, I would not personally recommend those at all unless it fits your cat perfectly because she was traumatized. <laughs> not worth it. So have you told them about what I'm getting done? Uh, they don't know what you're getting done. Okay, so I'm getting my head tattooed as Cara's told you. So I have to go get um, my head shaved and Cara hasn't actually seen it yet. So it's going to be a reveal to both, well, all of you lot. You ready? I'm nervous. Oh, oh I did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is um, my new look. What do you think? It's softer than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm now naked. You are naked. You've got hair all over your forehead. Yeah, no, I've got hair everywhere. But yeah, it's, it's cold, so I've been wearing <laughs> my hat. <laughs> it's weird! It's gonna take me ages just to get used to it. We're just shaving the rest of his head. We're at my brother's house now, by the way. I want to see if there's a barber near. Just so you... I'm guessing a lot of these people are female. With guys, you get like, I think with foils. And they like, just literally make it like baby smooth. So I'm going to see if there's a barber tomorrow around the corner and just get to foil it. This half your head. I might just, if anyone's watched Sons of Anarchy and they know who Juice is, I might just do a Juice. Just like a little, it's like a mohawk, but really short. Really short. I think I might just do that. And then get a mohawk. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Man, it might not have been free, but it was late. Oh, it was like 1 a.m. Yeah. at least. So yeah, it's only quite close. It's not 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 I'm moving my dodgy lamp. <laughs> 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 Look at the fish <laughs> Hello. I had to switch the camera over because the other camera died. So we're using Cara's Olympus pen that I got her for her birthday. Um, so yesterday, I, I, Cara was ill. And I just felt so rough at the end that we didn't do any filming. But this my head. It weren't the most pleasant of experiences. But now, because... He spent most of it in the fetal position. Yeah, I was literally like cuddling my knees. Yeah, and then started like whimpering. Making funny noises. <laughs> but today, we're both off. We're just spending the day in like snuggly clothes. And Cara's making omelettes. And I love omelettes. Where's the omelette? There it is. Cheesy spinach omelettes. Mm -mm. But they're healthy as well. Yeah, I like it. Look at this. I'm just going to put the spinach in. That's a little bit. So doing that and then, because we got rid of the sofa, I've put the our fairy lights on and put a little fire on and we're going to watch some Sons of Anarchy. But yeah. Luna has her... Um... Oh yeah, Luna's got a check up later so we've got to go and do that. No, no. Um, but what else have we got to share? Okay, so who did your tattoo? Because we haven't actually said. Oh yeah, so the guy that done the tattoo is a guy called Christopher Taylor, with a K on Instagram. He's a really nice guy. He's someone I've like looked up to for like a long time. Um, we do like a similar sort of style, but he's been doing it for a lot longer. So he's um, better than me. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, check him out. He's absolutely amazing. He's such a nice guy as well, weren't he? He's he was really... so nice. Like everyone um, at that studio was so nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so definitely going back there to get some more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, Christopher Taylor. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. KT. Huh? So quick, I've nicknamed him KT. Apparently, his nickname's now KT. KT. He's in Katie, Katie Price. Oh, it's Chris Taylor with a K, it's KT. I don't know, I was joking. Oh. <laughs> yeah, cool. We're just filming a bit. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of show you the omelette. Mm. Oh. I'm just letting the cheese melt on it a little bit, but look at this, man. Mmm, 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 mmm. Scrumptious. <clears throat> She died. She died. Oh, there, there she is. <laughs> <laughs>